Hello everyone, Tina here. I hope you're having a great day. Thanks so much for stopping by. Well, I'm super excited. Today I get to share with you a project for Concord and Ninth. All month long, I've been guest designing every Friday um, for the month of October, and we're celebrating the brand new release over at the Concord Night Shop. Um, this is part of the new release, and I'm super excited because it's a turnabout stamp, and it's called Coffee Blend Turnabout Stamp Set. Um, it's a bundle, um, but they are sold individually. But it's coffee themed, and I've never ever tried a turnabout stamp set before. So this is going to be super excited. On the reverse side, it shows you um, stamping once, twice, three times, and then four times to get that full background in a variety of colors. And so I'm excited I get to share it with you. If you've never tried a turnabout stamp set, I hope you like this tutorial too. But it does have a coordinating die set. It cuts out that cute little coffee mug. The word enjoy. The two smaller coffee cups that are in the stamp set. The stamp set's just not a turnabout stamp set. It has a large coffee mug and a lot of sentiments. Coffee beans and extra coffee cups. Now this is the turnabout jig. I will be using this today to aid me in my turnabouting. <laughs> this is a heavy duty um, kind of panel where you're going to turn it. It's labeled on all the corners, one through four. And then there's guides on in there, um, how to position your paper, um, landscape or portrait style, style and, um, for an A2 size card base or panel. So we're going to dive in. Let's open up the package here. Super excited. Now, your stamp sets, turnabout stamp sets now come with a turnabout alignment guide. And that's it. It's a printed um, piece of acetate that has the same um, pattern as your turnabout stamp set. So um, there is a little part on the very top that said this side up. You want to make sure that that is up when you align your stamp set directly over the top. So I'm flipping my stamp set over. So, so basically the side that you're going to stamp is going to be um, sticking down on the acetate. I'm just making sure everything's lined up. And it does have that X on there too, which makes it handy. So that's ready to go. Now I'm going to bring in my Misty. Um, with Turnabout Stamps, you do need a stamp positioner. Um, and it just makes it way, way easier. <laughs> But you can see the little notches for a portrait style, and then there's notches for here, a landscape style card. You just want to line those up. And to do that, I'm just going to add a little bit of tape adhesive to that um, turnabout jig. I'm going to actually line up my stamp first. There's um, a dotted line that's X'd out on the turnabout jig. And I'm lining my X on the turnabout jig with my X on my alignment guide. And then I can just close the lid of my Misty, and I know that my stamp is perfectly positioned on the lid of the Misty. So easy peasy, my goodness. Um, I'm not using a panel. I'm actually going to use my card front for today's card. So I'm using the alignment guide, um, guides that are on my turnabout jig, and tacking down my card base. I'm going to actually add a little bit of glue on the inside so it'll stay closed, but there's a one at the very top two, three, and then four. Those are helpful when you um, need to turn. So we're going to stamp our first color. I'm using a very pale taupe ink. It's pretty pale, so I'm going to stamp it a few times. I kind of wanted coffee colors, but I wanted to throw in a brighter color too. But this is a real pretty taupe. I'm going to stamp it a few times. And I think it looks great. Okay, next. That one coffee cup didn't get all the way. There we go. I'm going to turn it to the number two. They're, they're labeled, so you want to make sure your number two is um, um, vertical there. And then I'm going to go in with my next color ink. The next color ink, I brought in some blue, kind of break up the browns. Um, it's like a smoky blue color. I'll just ink that up. Press really good. And then I'm going to clean off my stamp. I'm going to use my stamp chamois and then I'm going to go over it with a towel just to make sure it's dry. And then I'll rotate my stamp or uh, um, my turnabout jig. And then we'll ink up our next color. Next color is like a warm brown coffee with creamer in it. <laughs> I'm going to stamp that and then um, just adding a little extra on that one coffee cup. And then I'll turn it to number three. 
actually that was number three. We're on number four now. Four now is my fourth color. <laughs> it's easy to lose track. Good thing there's numbers on there. But I'm going to use my darkest, um, my rich dark brown here and ink that up and stamp that the fourth time. And all the areas are filled in and there's no open areas. It's super neat. And I just love that. Love the colors in there too. So um, the nice thing about the turnabout jig is um, it's uh, the price point's great too. It's um, affordable and um, your ink wipes off easily. And then to remove my, my tape, I just use my, um, my sponge eraser. Okay, uh, now we're gonna do some more stamping. I'm gonna stamp the coffee mug with the dark brown ink that we use for our background. And then I'll bring in the warm brown ink and stamp that a second time as well. We're gonna make two little to-go coffee cups. Now I wanted those two same colors, but I wanted to create strips with it. Um, so I'm just using that ink pad and doing a little bit of shading on one end of this piece of cardstock. And then I'm gonna do the same thing on the reverse side. This way I can pay, take my paper trimmer and trim down um, two thin strips. One of them is about a little less than half of an inch and then the other one will be a quarter inch. And I'll just use my paper trimmer to trim those. So I have um, some coordinating homemade colored cardstock. <laughs> now I'm gonna color in my coffee cup just adding a little bit of shading with my warm gray marker and then I am going to color in the little heart with um I thought the blues kind of coordinated with my ink pad but it was the they were a little bit more on the teal side than the the smoky blue that I had used but um I'll color those in just a little bit but I am going to shade my background in and some certain areas with my warm my lightest warm gray marker um just to add a little extra depth to my background, just do a little bit of something else. Okay, here's where I'm gonna go in with those blues. And um, in real life, it, it it's not that big of a difference, but I'm noticing that on the camera, you could really see the green in the coffee cups versus the, the, the gray in the pattern paper. But no worries, it all worked out in the end. Now, there's the word enjoy in the die set. And I wanted to create a gradient with those same inks. So I'm just doing a little bit of smushing with the ink pads on some leftover cardstock. And then using my nippers, I'm gonna cut away the to-go coffee cup. And then also the word enjoy. Once I have these separated, I'll go ahead and run both the coffee cups and the word enjoy through my die cut machine. So these will be ready to go. Now for my card today, I thought we would just do something different. You know, I always like to do that. <laughs> but I'm taking the darkest strip and I'm adding it to a piece of acetate. If the glue kind of oozes out, I just used my stamp chamois to wipe it down. Um, I'm going to... I'm gonna basically put one on the very top and one on the very bottom, but I'm gonna place them down a little bit wonky. I don't want them to be completely horizontal. I wanted them to have a little bit of um, thickness on one end and thinness on the other, just a little bit of something, not traditionally straight. <laughs> Once I'm happy with that, I'll go ahead and add my lightest brown strip here. Add that directly on top of the dark brown strip so it just leaves me a hair of that dark color and then I'll go ahead and there's excess plastic hanging off the left and the right I'm gonna use my paper trimmer and go ahead and trim off that excess I'm not worried about the left or the right of this just yet um, because once I adhere it to my card base I can just trim it off Okay, now I'm going to line my plastic piece right over the front of my card, kind of positioning it where I want it, and then I'm going to use a pencil and mark the very top, and then I'm also going to mark the very bottom where that lighter brown ink is. Once I mark those, I'm going to take my paper trimmer and trim those two pieces out. Um, when I do trim it, I'm going just past the pencil mark line. So it's a little bit wider than that pencil mark line. This is gonna give me a little room for when I glue. 
And then that middle piece we're not going to use, but I did use it for another card. If you want to check out the Concord 9th blog, you'll see um, two extra projects that I made using this stamp set um, and a lot of other um, inspiration that's fantastic over there too. So I encourage you guys to go over there and check it out. I'll uh, list the blog down below. Now I added that top plastic piece and then I'm just adding the bottom and I trimmed off the left and the right once I had it adhered. And so I have my, my full card front back again, <laughs> but I have a window on it. I just like doing st stuff different like that. I'm going to go ahead and add my glue to the word enjoy and place that on the acetate. And the enjoy does have the little dot, but it's stuck in my die. So just using my craft pick, I'll punch that out and glue the dot to my eye. And then I'm going to add some foam adhesive behind both my coffee cups kind of place them wonky on the wider area of the acetate. And I think that looks so fun. <laughs> I'm going to sparkle up the word enjoy with my Nouveau Aqua Shimmer Pen along with my cup. And then I'm going to add some Nouveau Morning Dew Drops. These are like glossy accents. I'm going to place a little bit of shininess on the hearts of my coffee mugs. And then that completes my project for today, guys. Something a little different with that window in the front, but I love the turnabout. It's so fun. My goodness, I had a blast. I want to thank you so much for joining me. I wish you a lovely day, and we will see you again soon. Bye-bye. <laughs>